This is Coach Ryan of VG Sports, and as we continue on looking at our offensive play calls, we want to now get into the next step. You know, we started off with a 22 dive. We followed it up with a nice little pass route combination by our tight end and our wide receiver to the strong side of the field. And now we want to say, we want to look at how we can get our receiver open or, or make this play even more effective based on a defense actually playing this rather well, all right? And actually look at an adjustment that the defense may make. So the first play, quite possibly, they we were able to beat them with the backside slam, all right? Now, the, the, our um, defensive opponent says, you know what, you're not gonna beat me with that slant again or that post again because I'm gonna drop my middle linebacker into this hole, all right? Fine, that's, that's, that's very good. We appreciate good competition. We like great adjustments, but we can still beat this, all right? So now what we want to do is they take that away, and that's no problem, all right? We, we don't mind them taking that area away. But this is how we're going to get this, these route combination over here still to get over, all right? The first play, the first time we came to the field, we ran this tight end up on a curl, I'm sorry, on a hook, and then we took our wide receiver and ran him out on the corner route, all right? That's a great play call. Um, it's going to work for you a lot. But for times that it doesn't work, here's another way that you can get this over. All right. A lot of times in youth football, kids get confused when they have mesh points. And mesh points is if we have routes rubbing each other or breaking off of each other, it makes it extremely hard for these kids because they're used to reacting. And a lot of times in practice, they don't practice against routes running off of each other, off of each other, or actually working with each other. So this is what we'll do here now. We're going to take our wide receiver who's lined up in like a twin tight end type formation, or he's just just on H back, whatever one you want to call it. We're going to take him and run him up on a curl. I'm mean, on a hook. I apologize for keep calling the curl. We're going to take our tight end instead, and we're going to switch the routes and have the tight end break to the corner. So our mesh point are going to be at the same time, at the same point. So if we're going to have our tight end break at seven yards, this hook needs to be run at seven yards. All right. So you run up seven hard, break inside. At that point, we're running up seven yards with the tight end, breaking out. Now, if they're going to in out with this Sam linebacker and this cornerback, all right, if we're driving off the ball at the same time or at the same level and then make a switch, they need to know right away because this corner more than likely is going to sit on this route, on the hook route, and the Sam linebacker is going to sit on it as well because they're going to both see it. That's going to leave this wide open over here. So that's just, there are so many little things that are done in football especially when you're when you're talking about real life football that can that just opens up areas and that's all we're trying to do we're trying to isolate areas we're trying to make decision points for the defense to have to think for a split second and in that split second that gives us an opportunity to get the ball into the hands of one of our receivers or one of our playmakers so again we started everything off with a 22 die we don't even have to stay with a 22 die we can go ahead and get in there with the 32 dive, get our fullback in the game. No matter what you want to do, we're starting off with a run. That's just how I am personally, but you don't have to start off that way. You can come out like this and then go into the run. But no matter what, the sequence of plays is dictating how we're, we're, we're dictating confusion to the defense, and we know what they want to do adjustment-wise, all right? So what we can also do is we're going to follow up with, with another video based on what's going to happen if your players, or if you from the sideline, see this middle linebacker inching back. All right, so let's go ahead and follow up. 